you know, I think it was it was the passion that they brought to today's game. Um, you know, they, they got a good game plan and they were focused in on it. Um, really executed well. Really executed well in that first quarter. Just things we asked them to do. And it, it isn't necessarily what they did, it's how they did it and what, with what energy, you know, that we've been struggling with, you know, pretty much inconsistently throughout the season. You know, it's just the passion and the energy level in which we're playing with. You know, doing something one way and then doing it with passion and energy like you mean it is a whole nother thing. So I think that's it. I think really when you're talking about the first quarter, I, I think it just kind of shook them up a little bit. It shook up Mercer a little bit and they didn't know what to think of it. You know, they weren't expecting that from us because we really hadn't done it consistently throughout the season. I think it's, you know, obviously we changed some things up with just how we were playing personnel. Um, and we started that against Sanford and defensively, our defensive game it was a lot better even with that situation. We just couldn't put the ball in the basket. So there was a little, you know, I'll blame that on myself as far as, you know, the ability for us to put the ball in the basket against Sanford. I'll take on some of that because they were, they were just in different situations. You know, they weren't shooting the ball comfortably. It wasn't things that they're used to because we're, you know, trying this new system out. And so I think they're a little bit more comfortable with it. You know, as far as offensively and being able to score, you know, we did a nice job of scoring tonight in the first quarter uh, as we were holding them. So, you know, thank God, <laughs> thank God for it, because when they went on their, when they went on a run, they they went on a run. Mainly that it wasn't the last three or four minutes that lost the game for us. Um, you know, and especially with with a group that cares so much, um, and it was good to see that they cared about the outcome and and they weren't feeling good necessarily about playing with Mercer and I've been trying to get us to that point for a long time now it's just we don't want to play with the conference we want to come out with the win so they were very very hurt um, and you could tell you know there were there were tears in the locker room they were they were pretty upset but it didn't come down and I wanted them to understand that it didn't come down to the last three minutes of the game that we didn't end up with the win you hold them scoreless in the first quarter um, so if you really want to, if we really want to think about the get better part and the takeaway from this, it's not, let's look at the last three minutes. Let's look at the last score. Let's look at the last stop. Let's look at a missed free throw. Any of that. Let's not, you know, those things are going to happen. Let's look at the transition buckets they got in the second quarter and how we weren't focused in and how we let them get shots that they didn't get in the first quarter. And now we're forcing quick shots on our end. Let's look at that and the consistency of that. And that we were, when we're locked in and we're ready to play, those things don't happen. So really it's the message which every possession matters. Every possession is very important. And then you're playing a team like Mercer that has such a power score element that you put a lot of pressure on yourself when you don't put that much attention in every single possession. So it's not the last three minutes. It's not on one person. It's that. It's the team and the effort that we, were, we came out in the second quarter with and what we did with that. Timber's, she's such a coachable kid. I just love her. <laughs> she just, you tell Timber one time and she does, she, she, she ain't going to do the same thing again. That's for sure. Now she may not do exactly what you, what you meant when you said what you told her, but she ain't going to do the same thing. You're going to see she's trying to do what you're telling her to do. And because of how coachable she is, she's starting to see some success now that she's getting more comfortable on the, on the court with her other teammates. And I'm, I'm excited about her. Um, you know, she, she's got defensive tools. I ended up having to put her on the high score at the end because we knew they were going to go to her. And if they're going to win it, doggone it, they're going to have to beat us with somebody else. Um, so I had three posts out there because I had her garden. Um, and she did a fantastic job. She had a hand on her the whole time. Emily, she's get, gaining more and more confidence. You know, gaining more and more confidence. She's hot or cold sometimes, but she's gaining more and more confidence. And now she's shooting it. And if she's open, she's shooting it. And she's got to shoot it. She's got a nice touch on the ball, but she needs to probably relax a little bit and take her shot when she's ready to take her shot. We can take out of this whole weekend the fact that we're a better defensive team than we've shown all year. And I think that's, that's big. That's crucial because, you know, you take a Sanford that's, you know, can put some points on the board, but more importantly, they're a system team, and it's not the easiest thing in the world to guard when they get going. They got a lot of tools they can go to, and we were able to guard that and hold them under 50 points. Um, and then tonight, to to be able to defend as well as we were for as long as we did and carry out game plan. So going into Chattanooga next weekend, it's it's big for us, and being able to do that and know that we can lock down and get some team stops because for us it's going to take team stops. It's not any one-on-one. -on -one. It isn't any one key.
kid going to be that person for us. It's got to be a team effort, and we did that these last two games.